Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily psychic tarot reading for you, tuning into the day's energies, seeing what divine messages come through, so you can find some clarity, guidance, enjoy your path to becoming more yourself all right so this is a general reading tuning into general energy so take what resonates and leave the rest thank you for joining me here today and allowing me to tune into your energies i hope you are happy and healthy and that you're enjoying your journey. Just sending out appreciation. So grateful for all of you. So, all right, let's start in the past. We've got the energy of the Empress in reverse. So, ooh, interesting. So this is a, uh, Ooh, not a, a nurturing energy. This is a lack of nurturing, a, a lack of growth. Somehow I'm getting that this feels internal. Um, like a, a, a lack of being able to nurture yourself. I'm feeling this really internally. A lack of creating a, a safe space for yourself. A lack of caring about you. Caring and nurturing. It feels like it does come from the example set by others, maybe your own mother or family of origin. There's a, a, a feeling of outcast, of having to work really hard to be cared for. <laughs> um, yeah, this has a real poverty consciousness that was passed on. It feels like you have to you might have carried this on to adulthood and it, it looks like um, feeling like a burden to others, feeling like you have to overshare, that you're not really welcome in any environment, not seeing your value and worth. Yeah, this has a real feeling of being on the outside and never feeling welcome, never feeling like you belong or that others want you there. There also, I'm seeing another side of this, like a mirror where there might be a growing resentment on your side, like wanting to be with people and resenting them for not wanting not seeing your value, not caring for you, not loving you. And so there's like a growing resentment and also this desire, like I want this person who um, I, I resent, I'm building this resentment against, but I, I still, um, need there's a belief that you need their affection because i feel like you know as a child you did need their affection and it doesn't it feels like it was very conditional upon their mood and how you show up oh this feels like um withholding of affection to mold your behavior so it told you that if you are crying, if you are angry, if you are upsetting the apple cart in any way, which happens when you're a child, 
because you don't know how to work through your emotions. But it feels like parents or a parent that didn't know how to deal with their own emotions, how to regulate their own emotions. And so they couldn't teach their children how to regulate their emotions. Instead, they passed on this um, manipulation and conditional way of being that I'll love you as long as you show up pleasant. And if you're not pleasant, I'm going to punish you or isolate from you or isolate you or n neglect you until you show up. Um, boy, that's putting a lot on little kids to know how to, <laughs> like to come into this world and know how to behave. There's like a lack of understanding that there need, you need to teach children by example. Um, yeah, there's a real um, disconnect here and uh, a lack, of, yeah, a lack of that feminine nurturing energy. Instead, it's manipulative and demanding. So this is in the past that we're talking about. It looks like in the past, there's this fast moving energy, a new idea, a new way of a new way of perceiving a way not to be this way. The thing is that even though it feels like in the past you saw that this is not a healthy environment, this is not a good way of doing business, I, I feel like seeing it was one thing, but it still created a lot of anxiety because now you have to, now that you see this, now that you see that this is an unhealthy environment, you got to make decisions because you can't unsee it and communicate, you know, that this is not the way, this isn't healthy for me. I'm not needing to change you all. But I'm letting you know that this does not work for me. This way of being, this very conditional, manipulative way of controlling each other's behavior and loving each other based upon the condition of how I make you feel. That's what, that's the... I'm feeling at least one of the root pictures. Growing up, it looks like, if this is your reading and this is resonating, it looks like your parents or whoever raised you made you responsible for how they feel. That's a lot to put on children. So it looks like it creates like a um, an insecurity in the children to constantly have to read the room and change their energy so they are safe. They're not allowed to have emotions. So this might lead to you isolating when you feel that you have, oh gosh, this is, so when you have uncomfortable emotions, it feels like you might have a habit of self-isolating because nobody showed you that it's okay to show up and be grumpy, you know, just don't make it others' problem or others' issues. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad week, a bad month. Just as long as you aren't expecting others to solve your problems for you, you can have that, your moods. Does that make sense? All right. So it feels like that was, uh, that's a lot, a lot in the past. Let's 
get see what's going on in present energy. We've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is a, a lack of regret, a lack of apology. Um, no, no, yeah, no, I, I'm not sorry. I didn't do anything. This person feels like they um, avoid accountability and responsibility. Um, feels like they make others responsible for how they feel. So this is, I'm tuning into whoever you have experienced these type of connections with. It feels like um, you might have recreated this type of connection with others where you have to work harder than the other person in the connection. Like you have to do all the work in the connection that you feel, I mean, at first there's a loving connection and that attraction, and then it starts moving into this old pattern of you having to people please and not be yourself, but live for others, live to make them feel better that your role as you were given as a child that you took to adulthood was my job is to make you happy Whew, nice deep breaths this feels like very intense energies that are coming up these feel like core wounds that are being addressed so if this is making you feel uncomfortable but it's resonating just allow maybe Maybe allow those uncomfortable feelings to be felt. It's okay to feel all that discomfort, all that frustration, all that disappointment, all that rage. It's okay to let, your, let yourself feel what you're feeling. You don't have to blame others. You don't have to try to push those energies away. It's okay to feel your feelings. All right. So again, <laughs> wow. So we've got the Empress in reverse that we started with the whole reading in the past. And now we've got the Emperor in reverse in present time. So in the past, it feels like more of a mothering, nurturing, or a lack of mothering energy, but it might have been more coming from a feminine energy. So that might have been mother, might have been both, but it, it both, that's their mother wound. And now we're looking at father wounds, uh, a lack of a lack of heart, a lack of emotions and manipulation. So this is masculine energy coming out. These cards just popped up. Yeah, this is talking about um, this message is around masculine wounds not being able to express your emotions not being able to have your emotions oh it also feels like um not being able to move away from situations that are emotionally um, unsatisfying. So 
this is ending. This cycle is ending where there's the masculine energy. I feel like what we're tuning, what I'm tuning into here is in present time, it's a lack. It's a where, what? let me tune into this a little bit here. Um, it's that oh that facade not being allowed to have your own emotions and express your emotions there's also like a component to this that's a lack of compassion a lack of it it feels like and what i'm seeing is that this chronic toxic masculinity where i don't have emotions other than tough and rugged and you know what i mean um that facade of toxic masculinity it feels like as men have been disallowed their emotions and their ability to express them in a healthy way not being shown how to have your emotions has made it so they can't be compassionate for themselves and others. It feels like this is ending. It feels like a lot of masculine energies, those who are embodied as a masculine feel, present as masculine, that they, um, they want to have their emotions. They're tired of stuffing, numbing out, stuffing their emotions, putting their, pushing their emotions down, being in delusion, being this expectation of some kind of mythical creature that provides for everybody and yet has no bad days, no emotions. So that's ending as well, or it, for who's showing up, this cycle is coming to an end. Boy, wouldn't that be something, huh? All right, so in the center of your reading is the hanged man. This is These are messages from your higher self. Higher self can see a broader perspective. You might feel be feeling a bit stuck in your life right now. Like things, some things it feels like it's really I feel like there are a lot of hurdles. Like you're like, oh, this is an idea. And you start walking and you're like, oh my gosh. It feels really difficult to take action right now in these intense energies. You might be guilting yourself for maybe wanting to take a break. Maybe it's time to take care of yourself. Maybe if you're feeling roadblocks in one place, find where the energy is easy, something that you want to do and it moves with ease. It feels like it's time for some fun. It's time to enjoy life. So maybe you're um, to keep your vibration up as these intense energies move through that that is doing work that some of you have uh kind of a, a toxic masculine um picture that you always have to be working it feels like there's a balance an invitation for balance coming in to um 
prioritize fun. Prioritize your spiritual well-being. Like if you went to the gym and you had your leg day and you just totally like worked out your legs till they're noodles, the next day you'd give yourself a break. You would be like, oh, I totally get that. I'm not going to go for a hike I'm day after leg day. So just understanding that this is a lot of intense shifting and purging of energies. So it's okay to, to take a break, right? On a spiritual level, this is a big shift. You're experiencing a lot of shifts in your energy. Give yourself a break, man. What sounds like fun? Oh my gosh, this chariot card keeps popping up. It flew out. I didn't take it. And then every time I um, shuffle, it keeps wanting to pop out. So this is the July energy, seven, Cancer season. Happy birthday to my Cancers, my fellow Cancers. Um, This is moving. It's like you're... You're getting ready for a big move. You're moving forward energetically. There's some big shift happening. You might be physically moving. And so what I'm getting is that right now that hanged man energy, this is core issues. These are um, the major arcana cards coming out. So core issues are at stake. You're, you're also doing another uh, workouts kind of metaphor. You're also, if you're getting ready to really move your energy and shift your energy, it's time to rest, align, focus on your spiritual energy. Are you aligned? Are you grounded? Are your chakras open and nicely spinning? It feels like a lot of quietness coming in. Can you allow some, some peace and some quiet before the moving, the moving forward? Interesting. Okay. Looks like um, for some of you, there's this loving energy coming in. I feel like it's a new way of, since this is talking about conditional love and loving yourself and how you were raised around what love is, what a healthy environment is and is not. And it feels like you're shifting your beliefs to something different. I feel like as you're, <clears throat> as you're exploring and redefining what love is for you, then you're attracting love there's someone there it feels like people are really loving you they're loving your energy i'm getting all this like i don't know who that is kind of feeling like who's that i don't maybe that's part of it do you feel unlovable i feel like there are Lots of people around you who love you. Is that a defensive mechanism? Yeah, there's... I feel like... Um, there's something that need, that's needing a little tweaking around how you don't believe others. 
can love you or a lack of trust. I feel again that this is coming from, if this is your reading, then I don't blame you. From childhood, there's been like, I feel like people have played with the energy of love and like, I love you. You know, I'm a real shit in your life and I'm really difficult and I've been really, but I love you. Do you not, you know, it doesn't feel like I love you. Period. It feels like the saying I love you even was kind of like, feels courting. Like, I love you. Do you love me? I love you more. Feels like a lot of saying that. But the the actions somehow don't the actions don't match. That's not love. But it feels like that you were like, okay, that's what love is. Because they keep saying that this is love. So yeah. And I it I feel like right now, if anybody comes towards you with loving intentions, true loving intentions, you'll be able to spot that. And it, it might be a little scary because it's authentic and unconditional. And if someone comes towards you and it's the old energy kind of, manipulative like I love you when you're happy I love what you do for me I love how you make me feel which is not love it's conditional love I love when you do something for me I love when you make me feel better I love when you give me attention so it's all about what they want it's not a, a reciprocal kind of thing and I feel like, um, oh. <laughs> I just saw a big nope across the screen. If that person or that type of person, it, it's a big nope. Um, you, you've been down that road before. I feel like there's a lot of people who are going to wake up when people say no, no thank you to that offer. Thank you for that offer. I'm not interested in a conditional loving relationship. I want an unconditional loving relationship, healthy. And I'm willing to explore that and grow. All right, your challenge right now is the King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you might be um, Looking at your finances, they might be a little like, oh, oh, feels like there's a, a dip. A dip in the, I feel like it, the, your finances are fine. It seems that there's not as much coming in, which might spark like a, a fear response. Your challenge is to not let fear take you away and just let it take you away into a, a whole other world where you're in fear about your finances and your stability. It looks like the challenge is to understand that there are always going to be fluctuations that, uh, the graph never looks like this. It's, you know, finances coming and going. It looks like what your higher self was saying earlier was taking care of your vibration, allowing your vibration to rise. Go have fun. Don't blow a bunch of money to have fun. You know what I mean? Don't be fearful. There's this balance that's being asked. Um, trust. Trust. Don't go into fear. 
feels like there are new ideas, new avenues opening up, new ways of doing business, new new avenues to bring in finances. And so why things are slowing down is so you will slow down. So you'll be in that hanged man position and allow new ideas, new inspired ideas to come in. Yeah, there's a lot of shifting and intense energies right now. If you want, you can go on those fear rides. My suggestion and what I'm getting from spirit is that feel your emotions, but choose like, okay, wait, I'm getting like really freaked out about my finances and that's per making everything, painting everything to be scary and worrisome and anxiety. I know how much I have. I am very conscious. It'll be fine. I might make some uh, adjustments to get through this little dry spell. So, but I'm not going to live in fear. I'm going to have faith and keep my vibration up and focus on my spiritual energy and have some fun, lighten up, allow things to move through. So, all right, that's your reading. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.